favor. So wait, hopefully. All right, let's get on with it. Right, we. Right, we are live on YouTube and Twitter. Um, I'd like to say that I'm joined by Up the Villa podcast host, uh, Luke Robinson. Luke, full time. Uh, Arsenal nil, Aston Villa three. We'll take some of that, won't we? What's your initial reaction? Buzzing, mate. Absolutely buzzing. Just, just what we needed. The, the reaction we needed after two losses. Get back to winning ways. Clean sheet. Some beautiful goals. Great movement. Unreal performance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think, um, you know, just a brilliant, just great to get. Um, into the international break if you are on the stream guys um make sure to leave your thoughts down below um like to get as many of you guys involved um let's start from the start then luke um first of all we give given false hope uh john mcginn opens the scoring but disallowed by var and i thought we might have been uh going down the same route we did last year i know it's just you know i put out there straight away banging finish and i was like didn't even think that we'd got var i was just like Great goal, but you know, it got chalked off by interfering with play. <laughs> Would he have had it anyway? He wouldn't have even seen it. So it's a little bit of a slightly controversial one for me, um, whether it should have stood. It's great that obviously what followed, we're not really talking anymore. Yeah. Um, I'm losing you a bit here, Luke, but uh, hopefully we can carry on um and yeah i just think you know it was unlucky that we couldn't get the uh first goal but we followed it up trezeguet i mean i heard i took a quote from villa on tour here but he needs to start paying rent at the back post doesn't he um but he just pops up there all the time Still got you, Luke. Sorry for the uh, interference here, guys. I think the Wi Fi is letting us down. Hopefully we can continue. Right, we have lost Luke. But hopefully we can get him back in. having some technical difficulties um if we're still live please let me know um hopefully we can get luke back in um
Right, Jude. Hello. Uh, can't see you. But uh, yeah. yeah, that's it. Right. We are back. We got Luke back. Hopefully. Um. I don't know what's happened with my video. I can see you. Um. Yeah, I know it didn't look like that on the stream though. Uh. I can just see yours and half of my friends. <laughs> Uh, always going to be technical difficulties. Uh, we, we are still live on YouTube, but I don't know what has gone on. It's frozen. My laptop is having a day off. <laughs> uh, literally, do not. Know what's going on here? See, I can see now. Right, it's cut off half of my face for some reason. I don't know why. Guys, I am sorry. Uh, oh, here we go. We got it back. Brilliant. Right. Hopefully, we can continue. We've no more technical difficulties. Right. So. It was, like we say, it's full-time Aston Villa um, 3, um, uh, well, full-time Arsenal 0, Aston Villa 3, um, Trezeguet um, opens the scoring for Villa after disallowed golden, yeah. Luke, um, he needs to start playing rent at the back post, as I was saying. Definitely, um, like I was saying before, we call him back post Trez, he's always there, he's always sniffing around, looking for anything that, that he can, we saw against Southampton, he, had a, he could have had a hat-trick at the back post. Um, and he was there again today. Now I think we continued that promising start that we showed. Um, you know, and it was just a brilliant performance from us. We was always on the front foot. We was always looking to get in dangerous areas. Um, and it was just really pleasing to see that reaction from the Southampton game. Yeah, and I think in the in the first half, you know, we had a number of chances. Um, I'd, is it fair to say that Arsenal weren't really in it first half? I think so. I think they were just a bit flat, weren't they? You know, they, they weren't that dynamic. I don't know whether the Europa League had a part to play in their performance. I thought maybe second half they'd come out a different side and really put us under a lot of pressure. And I think they only had a little five-minute spell and we were able to weather that storm and, and just pick up and kick on where we left off, really. Yeah, and I mean, going into the second half, um, I thought... We were we, well. We, I thought we opened the second half pretty well, didn't we? Put in um, continuing where we left off. Definitely, I think some concern. We sometimes come out a little bit flat, and the opposition sort of always get the upper hand on us. I felt today we really took another level to start with, and that sort of enabled us to set the tone for our second half as well, which was again another good half of football for us. Yeah, I mean, I I was really um, you know, we we got through the first phase, let's say till about sixty minutes or so, um, and we had a number of chances, um, and you know we we didn't take him, and then Nicolas Pepe and then Ketia came on. I remember looking at that bench before the game, and thinking our bench is pretty weak. Yeah. And I look at theirs and look at the likes of Pepe and and Ketia, and I thought this is where this is where Arsenal are going to do the damage, um, and the what we were under pressure for a lot. Um, well, periods of the second half, weren't we? But I think the impressive thing is we were good defensively. We yeah. soaked the pressure and then we allowed to, you know, go on the break and get another two. Definitely. I think we just look dangerous, don't we? A, a lot of the time we, we look dangerous on the break. Um and we even look dangerous with the ball now as well. It's not just us breaking at pace and we're a counter attack inside. I feel like we yeah, especially for that first goal to bark and pick it up. It was on the edge of the box and it was it was just great play from Jack and Barkley and I think we just look a real good solid side and I was a little bit disappointed against Southampton because I thought we're better than that and, and I expect better from us now and I think today really showed what we are capable of. Yeah, and 
I mean, it's a brilliant way to go into the international break. Just what? Just talk us through the um, two goals for Watkins. I mean, it's great to see him getting oh. back on the score sheet. Um, it would do him the world of good, wouldn't it? Brilliant. I think Watkins' hold-up play today was immense. Oh, he's brilliant. You, you know, you'd look at a, a player, say, like Wesley and Keenan Davis and think, hold up play they're brilliant at it but i'd say i'd say watkins is just as good you know he's so good at holding that ball up and he's pacey uh he stretches the defenses he's finishing he's brilliant i'm just so that you know he got the goals and he's getting the goals against the sort he's getting them against the arsenal so both as well yeah, definitely. I think, um, you know, against the top sides, I think this is where Villa can um, really take advantage of it this season against the top sides. Whereas in last season, you know, we, we really struggled on the on the counter. Um, who's your man of the match? I'd, do you know, I'd, I'd say Trezeguet. I, yeah, I think Trezeguet was brilliant. I thought he looked like he was possessed at one stage. <laughs> he, he was just running yeah. around everywhere like... I think he's brilliant, Trezeguet. I really do. He's, he's awesome. Oh, he's, he's, he's come on so much since last season, especially since the start of last season, in my opinion. I just he, He's a player this season that always gives yeah. you an 8 mm-hmm. out of 10. When you've got those type of and, players in your team that you can rely on, your standards rarely slip below that certain level. And I think he's just one of them players now that I'd say he's probably one of the first names on that team sheet. Yeah, definitely. Kieran O'Callaghan is on watching the stream. He says, give us a mug. I don't know if that's <laughs> something to do with you. Yeah, yeah, he's got one on his way. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, you'll have that in the post for you, Kieran. You can watch that. The next. You can all have that uh, for the next I've already game. told him I'm going to um, sort you out anyway. <laughs> so you got too much in the van now. Um, B6 Ben V. B6 Ben Mugs V up the Villa podcast. Yeah, mug, I know. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, um, just brilliant ways, isn't it, to um, end uh, uh, the uh, in, well, go into the international break, and um, it's just great to um, see Villa back scoring the goals. I think we proved it against Southampton that we can score goals, and uh, my fantasy team has got wonders because we've both got Grealish oh, and Watkins in. That's jammy that is now. That's that's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting loads of comments on here. Um, Kieran's got laughing emojis. Ryan says, you better get Jude one as well. Yeah, well, don't worry. <laughs> I don't mind all uh, uh, I don't mind at all. Um, is there anything else, Luke, that you'd like to add about the game? Because I don't want this to go on for... I'd just say long. if we win our game, we then we go top of the league. Yeah, I definitely. We finish. Um, <laughs> I know, yeah. This season is so unpredictable. And I think as as a start it's hard to get results in the Premier League consistently as it is but this year in particular it's just so unpredictable isn't it this is why I feel like we've got to be at it for every game do you know what I mean if, if we can be at it for every single game we can have the best season we've had in years and we just don't need these these levels um, you know just think if we'd have got a couple more points against Leeds or Southampton where we'd be yeah, definitely. Um, all, all, it's been a great start, hasn't it, for Villa? Um, and although we struggled the um, first two games the, after the international break, the Leeds and Southampton, it's great to get back to winning ways, as I keep saying. Uh, we're going to wrap it up there, Luke. Thank you. Uh, make sure to follow Luke on Twitter and um, subscribe to Up The Villa podcast because um, they do great stuff there. I'm sure you'll be having a post-match we will. coming up in the coming days. Thank you, mate. No problem. Um, hope hope you've enjoyed this stream, albeit um, with the Zoom connection problems. Uh, but this is what we have to get used to during lockdown, isn't it? Um, Till next time. Goodbye. Up the villa, and we got the three points finally, Luke. Up the villa. <laughs> uh.